Assalamualaikum dear students i welcome you all to virtual universities program on personality psychology jinab aaj hamara lecture number 12 aur lecture number 12 mein hum baat karenge aapse karen honey ki personality theory ke bare now before moving on words with our lecture number 12 let us recap what we did in our lecture number 11 लेक्चर नंबर 11 में हमने आपका ये जो कोर्स पर्सनालिटी साइकोलॉजी है इसमें एक नई पर्सनालिटी थेरी शुरू की है जो कि हमें कैरन हॉर्नी ने दी है नाउ कैरन हॉर्नी डेवलप्ड ए थेरी ऑफ पर्सनालिटी व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स नंबर वन व्हाट इज बेसिक एंगजाइटी एंड नंबर टू न्यूरोटिक पर्सनैलिटी जब बात हम करते हैं बेसिक एंगजाइटी की तो बेसिक एंगजाइटी इज क्रिएटेड इन अ चाइल्ड वेन ही कम्स और वेन ही एंटर्स दिस पावरफुल वर्ल्ड ऑफ पावरफुल एंड अडल्ट इंडिविजुअल्स सो अ चाइल्ड डिवेलप्स एंगजाइटी न्यूरोटिक पर्सनैलिटी एक्चुअली रिफर्स टू मेल एडेप्टिव वेज ऑफ डिवेलपिंग रिलेशनशिप्स सो so, जब हम बात करें मेल एडेप्टिव वेज ऑफ डीलिंग विद रिलेशनशिप्स वेल द फोकस इज ऑन पेरेंट चाइल्ड रिलेशनशिप बच्चे की वालदे के साथ जो ताल्लुक है उस पर फोकस है गिव क्रेडिट टू कैरन हॉनी फॉर टू थिंग्स शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फीलिंग्स ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी दैट आर क्रिएटेड इन टू द चाइल्ड ड्यू टू एंगजाइटी नंबर टू शी इज फोकसिंग ऑन फॉल्टी पेरेंट चाइल्ड रिलेशनशिप बात कुछ यूँ है जनाब के कैरन हॉनी बींग अ वुमन एंड अ पेरेंट ट्राई टू गिव अस ए न्यू डायमेंशन इन पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट और ये जो नई डायमेंशन है ये फोकस करती है फीलिंग्स ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी इन द चाइल्ड एंड दीज फीलिंग्स ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी इन द चाइल्ड लीड्स टू बेसिक एंगजाइटी दूसरी तरफ कैरन हॉनी फोकस कर रही है कि मेल एडेप्टिव वेज ऑफ डीलिंग विद रिलेशनशिप्स और इसमें उसका फोकस है पेरेंट चाइल्ड रिलेशनशिप की तरफ और फोकस उसने ये किया कि अ चाइल्ड बेसिकली हैज गॉट टू नीड्स नीड फॉर सेफ्टी एंड सेटिस्फैक्शन अगर ये दोनों नीड्स फुलफिल हो रही हैं और ये उस सूरत में फुलफिल होंगी व्हेन अ चाइल्ड हैज ए लविंग एंड अफेक्शनेट रिलेशनशिप विद द पेरेंट्स so those parents who love their child and provide affection well the child is going to develop a healthier personality but those parents who reject their child those who abuse their child those who humiliate their child well the child is going to develop a neurotic personality or aap keh sakte hain unhealthy personality or this child is going and its need of safety and satisfaction are not going to be gratified and that is going to lead to mal adaptive ways of personality development so you know baat aap se chal rahi hai aur ho rahi hai karen horney ki personality theory ki jisme focus hai basic anxiety aur neurotic personality development of neurotic personality Now let us see some of the other important personality constructs of Karen Horney's theory. Concepts of theory: number one, basic hostility and basic anxiety; number two, adjustment to basic anxiety; number three, class. She classified people according to ten neurotic needs in three categories. Number four, relationship between real self and ideal self. Number five, adjustment techniques. एंड नंबर सिक्स गोल ऑफ थेरेपी बात आपसे हो रही है कैरन हॉनी की थेरी के इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट और कंस्ट्रक्ट्स की जिनके ऊपर आपसे बात करेंगे 
जनाब बात कुछ यूँ है कि कैरन हॉनी वॉज बॉर्न इन द ईयर एटीन एटी फाइव एंड वेन शी वॉज जस्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड शी गॉट वेरी सिक शी वॉज ट्रीटेड बाई अ डॉक्टर एंड द डॉक्टर इम्प्रेस्ड हर सो मच दैट शी डिसाइडेड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर हर सेल्फ आफ्टर बिकमिंग अ डॉक्टर शी गॉट ट्रेनिंग इन साइको एनालिसिस एंड शी माइग्रेटेड फ्राम जर्मनी and came to america in 1932 and she set up her own clinic and began training people in psychoanalysis now with her clinical practice karen honey discovered that somehow freudian concepts and freudian methods of treatment were somehow not leading to the desired results because people were facing problems and these problems were usually concerning they were very much worried and bothered about their jobs they were worried about paying the rent of the house providing good education to their children better medical facility to their family and buying food so somehow people were more concerned about their every day problem rather than being concerned about the unconscious or being concerned about childhood problems so it was based on this basic philosophy that karen honey developed her own theory of personality ab then ab humne aap se shuru mein baat ye ki thi ke there are some very important concepts and constructs of her theory the first important concept or construct of her theory is basic hostility and basic anxiety in 1937 karen honey wrote a book called the neurotic personality of our time in this book karen honey tried to discuss that a child has two basic needs which are safety and satisfaction बात आपसे हो रही है कैरन हॉनी की पर्सनालिटी थेरी के कॉन्सेप्ट्स की उसमें हमने कहा कि सबसे पहला इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट है रिलेटेड टू बेसिक हॉस्टिलिटी एंड बेसिक एंगजाइटी नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू कैरन हॉनी देयर आर टू वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट बेसिक नीड्स इन अ चाइल्ड सेफ्टी एंड सेटिस्फैक्शन नाउ the need for safety and satisfaction is gratified by the parents the child is dependent on the parents for its survival so how this need is going to be fulfilled depends on the parents ab jana baat ye hai ki those parents who love their child who provide affection to their child well the child is the need for safety and satisfaction will be fulfilled and the child will develop a healthier personality on the other hand those parents who abuse their child reject their child show indifferent attitude towards the child well the child is going to develop anxiety hostility and this anxiety and hostility is going to generalize to the world and to all the people in this world so pehle wo hostility aur anxiety jayegi parents ki taraf aur fir uske baad is duniya mein rehne wale har fard ki taraf so that is as far as our first concept of theory basic hostility and basic anxiety is concerned second concept of karen horney's theory is adjustment to basic anxiety karen horney has listed 10 neurotic needs or 10 abnormal trends in people number 1 the neurotic need for affection and approval number 2 the neurotic need for a partner who will run one's life Number 3 the neurotic need to live one's life within narrow limits number 4 the neurotic need for power number 5 the neurotic need to exploit others number 6 the neurotic need for social recognition number 7 the neurotic need for personal admiration number 8 the neurotic need for ambition and personal achievement 
Number nine, the neurotic need for self-sufficiency and independence. And number ten, the neurotic need for perfection. Dear students, we are talking about how an individual, according to Karen Horney, makes adjustment to this basic anxiety. हमने कहा कि a child has got two needs: need for safety and satisfaction. Now. When this need for safety and satisfaction are not fulfilled, the child develops basic anxiety. और ये basic anxiety जो है इससे कूप करने के लिए इसको adjust करने के लिए इससे मुताबकत पैदा करने के लिए person shows टेन trends. यानि हमने वो दस नीड्स जो अभी आपके सामने डिस्कस की हैं दोज आर रिफ्लेक्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू एन इंडिविजुअल बात जनाब आपसे कुछ ये हो रही है कि ये जो दस की दस नीड्स हैं ये हम सब में हैं नॉर्मल्स में भी हैं एब नॉर्मल्स में भी मुझ में भी हैं आप में भी हैं बात कुछ यूँ है कि एक नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल में एक नीड अकॉर्डिंग टू सिचुएशन एंड डिमांड अराइज होती है हम उसे फुलफिल करते हैं और जब वो पूरी हो जाती है या वो पूरी नहीं भी होती है इवन देन वी मूव ऑन टू दी अदर वन दी एब नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल और ए न्यूरोटिक इंडिविजुअल सिलेक्ट वन नीड इग्नोर्स दी अदर नाइन and invests all his stamina energy on that one particular need and ignores the other one so according to karen horney all of us have these 10 abnormal 10 neurotic needs or 10 trends that are reflected let us go through the third important construct of karen horney's theory In 1945 Karen Horney in her book Our Inner Conflicts classified 10 neurotic needs in three categories number 1 moving towards people number 2 moving against people and number 3 moving away from people then now in 1945 Karen Horney in her book Our Inner Conflicts she tried to classify people according to these 10 neurotic needs into three categories into three groups moving towards people moving against people and moving away from people uske baad chautha important concept and that is the relationship between real self and ideal self the real self is the actual you the ideal self is what you want to become और जितना ये एक दूसरे के करीब होंगे और जितनी दे आर क्लोजर रिजेंबलिंग वन एन अदर एंड मोर द रियलिस्टिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू मोर हेल्दियर सक्सेसफुल इंडिविजुअल वी आर गोइंग टू कम अक्रॉस नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैरन हॉर्नीज पर्सनैलिटी थेरी और उसमें कैरन हॉर्नी ने हमें कुछ एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक्स दी Freud's ego defense mechanisms and Karen Horney's adjustment techniques are the same. However, Karen Horney has added few new and usable techniques of adjustment which are Janab baat ye hai ke Freud ke ego defense mechanisms aur Karen Horney ki adjustment techniques they are the same. However, Karen Horney ne kuch तीन या चार नई एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक्स दी हैं जो कि हम सब इस्तेमाल करते हैं नाउ द लिस्ट ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक्स इंक्लूड्स नंबर वन ब्लाइंड स्पॉट्स नंबर टू रैशनलाइजेशन नंबर थ्री एक्सेसिव सेल्फ कंट्रोल नंबर फोर कंपार्टमेंटलाइजेशन नंबर फाइव एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन नंबर सिक्स आबिट्री राइटनेस नंबर सेवन एलूसिवनेस एंड नंबर एट सिनिकजम जनाब ये कुछ टेक्निक्स हैं जिनके बारे में हम विद एग्जाम्पल्स विल बी गोइंग थ्रू दैम गोल ऑफ साइकोथेरेपी इन हर बुक कॉल्ड सेल्फ एनालिसिस कैरन हॉनी सेज 
that many people do not have emotional problems because they learn to minimize conflict and try to maintain a relationship between their real and ideal self. Karen Hawley ne apni kitab Self Analysis mein एक बहुत अहम बात ये हम तक पहुँचाने की कोशिश की है कि देर आर इंडिविजुअल्स हु डो नॉट हैव इमोशनल प्रॉब्लम्स बट दे सम हाउ लर्न टू मिनिमाइज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड डिवेलप ए रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द रियल सेल्फ एंड देर आइडियल सेल्फ तो सबसे अहम बात ये कि हम में से कुछ ऐसे लोग हैं जो के जिनके अंदर ये एबिलिटी है कि दे डू नॉट हैव इमोशनल प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज दे मिनिमाइज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड दे हैव अ रियलिस्टिक इमर्केबल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन आइडियल सेल्फ एंड रियल सेल्फ तो गोल ऑफ साइकोथेरेपी ये है कि ये जो आपका रियल सेल्फ है और आइडियल सेल्फ है इसमें कंपेटिबिलिटी की जाए इसमें एक वर्किंग रिलेशनशिप बनाई जाए और इसको एक दूसरे के करीब लाया जाए डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस बिगिन विद आर लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड दिस लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व फोकस ऑन सम ऑफ दो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कैरन हॉनी विच वर नॉट डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल इन लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन so let us go through some of the concepts in detail now hum aap se baat kar rahe hain karen honey ki personality theory ki aur ab hum isme un sare concepts ko with examples and more detail dekhte hain now lecture number 11 ended on the concept of what is basic hostility and basic anxiety humne ye kaha tha ki according to karen honey Every child has got two important needs. एक है उसकी नीड फॉर सेफ्टी और दूसरी है सेटिस्फैक्शन नाउ वेन सेफ्टी एंड सेटिस्फैक्शन नीड्स आर नॉट फुलफिल्ड दे आर नॉट ग्रेटिफाइड जब ये पूरी नहीं होती तो इंडिविजुअल सम हाउ डिवेलप्स एंगजाइटी और आप इस एंगजाइटी को डील करने के लिए वी हैव गॉट there are certain adjustment methods techniques that individual uses to adjust to this anxiety so adjustment to basic anxiety karen honey has listed 10 neurotic needs or 10 abnormal trends in people they are janab karen honey ne hame 10 एबनॉर्मल ट्रेंड्स या टेन न्यूरोटिक नीड्स ने और वो न्यूरोटिक नीड्स रिलेट करती हैं अफेक्शन से डोमिनट पार्टनर से नैरो लिमिट से नीड फॉर पावर से नीड फॉर एक्सप्लोइटिंग अदर ना दीज न्यूरोटिक नीड्स आर रिलेटेड विद इंडिविजुअल इज फैमिली एंड हिज सर्वाइवल तो बात आपसे हो रही है कैरन हॉनी की टेन न्यूरोटिक नीड्स की जिसमें हमने कहा कि जब भी वेन एवर अ चाइल्ड हैज़ गॉट सेफ्टी एंड सेटिस्फैक्शन नीड्स दीज नीड्स आर नॉट बीइंग फुलफिल्ड नॉट ग्रेटिफाइड पर्सन डिवेलप्स बेसिक एंगजाइटी और इस बेसिक एंगजाइटी से कूप करने के लिए इसको एडजस्ट करने के लिए इंडिविजुअल्स यूजली शो टेन एबनॉर्मल ट्रेंड्स जो हम टेन न्यूरोटिक नीड्स के नाम से लेबल करते हैं द क्वेश्चन इज डू ऑल इंडिविजुअल्स हैव दिस टेन नीड्स वेल ऑल नॉर्मल पीपल एंड ऑल एब नॉर्मल पीपल दे हैव दिस टेन न्यूरोटिक नीड्स द ओनली डिफरेंस इज ऑल नॉर्मल पीपल दे एक्सपीरियंस ऑल द टेन नीड्स लेकिन as one need arises according to situation and according to situation and circumstances individual fulfills it even when it is not fulfilled even when it is not gratified the individual moves on to the other need the abnormal individual the neurotic personality selects one neurotic need invests all his energy on the, that need even when that need is not being gratified is not being fulfilled individual a neurotic individual hangs on to it and ignores the other need and that is the net result leading to more maladjustment 
leading to more neurotic trend. Now, it was in 1945 that Karen Horney wrote a book, Our Inner Conflicts. And in this book, she classified people into three categories according to these ten needs. Moving towards people, moving against people and moving away from people. Let's see that this moving towards people, moving against people and away from people Let's take them one by one. Moving towards people. In this pattern of adjustment, individual moves towards people in order to satisfy his needs for affection and approval, for a dominant partner to control one's life, to live one's life within narrow limits. This is a type of person who is complaint type, who says that if I give in, I shall not be hurt. This type of person needs to be liked, wanted, desired, loved, welcomed, approved, appreciated, to be helped, to be protected, to be taken care of and to be guided. This type of person is friendly most of the time and represses his aggression. Baat aap se ho janab, moving towards people. Now in this type of trend, we come across a person who has certain neurotic needs and these neurotic needs have to be fulfilled. And this is the individual who wants to be welcomed, 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 that person should be taken care of. Most of the time, this person is very friendly and represses aggression or ye wo individual aapko nazar aayega jo apne aap se ye keh raha hoga if i give in if i surrender i will not be hurt so this would be a suppressive submissive type of a person or ye submissive type of person jo hai ye sirf isliye submissive hai because he or she thinks that if i give in i will not be hurt so moving towards people a type of individual who moves towards people to satisfy certain needs and this is a type of person who is very polite, friendly most of the time because he or she is repressing aggression. Let's see second type of person that is moving against people. Number two, moving against people. In this adjustment mode, the neurotic need for power for exploitation of others, neurotic need for prestige and for personal achievement are to be fulfilled. When an individual moves against people, this is a hostile type of a person who thinks if he has power, no one can hurt him. So, Janab is a such individual who wants to have a lot of power, a lot of prestige, who wants to exploit others. Or uska ye khayal hai, he is a type of person who thinks that if he is powerful, no one can hurt him. So he wants to achieve power, not to be hurt. Or sabse badi baat ye ke uske andar wo sari neurotic needs hain for power, for exploiting others, for gaining personal goals. Let's see the third type of person, moving away from people. In this adjustment mode, the neurotic need for self-sufficiency, perfection, independence are present. This person is a detached type of a person who says that if I withdraw, nothing can hurt me. So we come across the third type of person moving away from people and this is an individual who thinks that if he withdraw, if he isolate himself, nothing can hurt him. Or ye wo individual hai who wants to be perfect, who wants to be self-sufficient, who wants to be independent. Or zyada tar ya aapko is tarah ke individual mein nazar aayenge who are socially isolated. Now we have talked about these three adjustment modes. Moving towards people, moving against people, moving away from people. Now these three trends are incompatible with one another. 
as say in the same individual simultaneously he cannot move against people towards people or away from people ek hi waqt mein ye teeno trends usme prevalent nahi honge the normal individual has greater flexibility and he easily smoothly moves from one adjustment mode towards the other as the need and circumstances demand the neurotic person or the unhealthy person he cannot he is not flexible and he cannot smoothly move from one adjustment mode to the other adjustment mode rather hoga kuch aise ke the neurotic individual would select one mode of adjustment and would use it in solving all problems of his life and would try to use it under all circumstances and would adjust, would invest all his energy into it and that is where a uh, uh, problem lies because the neurotic individual just cannot shift from one adjustment mode due to his unflexibility non flexibility and smoothly from one adjustment mode towards the other or normal individual jo hai wo flexible hai wo aaram se ek adjustment mode kabhi wo istemal karta hai moving towards people kabhi wo istemal karta hai moving against people or away from people he very easily smoothly uses the three modes as circumstances as situations as problems demand dear students we are talking to you about karen horney's personality theory aapka course personality psychology aur us personality psychology ke lecture number 12 mein hum aap se baat kar rahe hain karen horney ki personality theory ke bare mein so let us go through a very important thing and that is relationship between real self and ideal self the real self represents all those things that are true about an individual the ideal self reflects what one would like to become so the real self is the actual you and the ideal self is that what you aspire to become the relationship between real self and ideal self is important for the normal person the real self and the ideal self are closely related and not far apart whereas for the neurotic person the real self and the ideal self are far away and the ideal self is unrealistic unreachable more of a dream so ideal self is like an illusion that does not reflect a reality and that needs to be changed and modified for the normal person the ideal self is real changeable and reachable baat aap se janab kar rahe hain karen honey real self ideal self ki relationship ke bare mein so real self is actual you ideal self is what you aspire or what you desire to become janab normal individual ke liye real self aur ideal self bade qareeb hai unme ek they are closer to one another and much compatibility is there for the neurotic person the ideal self like an illusion the ideal self is unreachable the ideal self is far away from the real self jabki normal individual ke liye real self wo hai which is very real related with this real world where we live number 2 this real self is changeable and number 3 it is reachable yani aapne apna jo ideal self hai wo apne potentials aur apne strong points ko samne dekhte hue banaya aur aapne apne liye wo goals set kiye hain jo aapne hasil karne according to your potentials so difference between a normal person and neurotic person depends on two things for the normal person the real the ideal self is very real it is changeable it is reachable wo real bhi hai changeable bhi hai reachable bhi or the neurotic individual hai uska jo ideal self hai wo real nahi changeable nahi hai aur reachable nahi hai so that is where the problem lies the most interesting concept to enjoy the most is related with adjustment techniques now sigmund freud's ego defense mechanisms or coping styles or karen horney ki adjustment techniques are the same however karen horney has given us few new and very usable techniques of adjustment yeah whenever an individual faces anxiety and he thinks that he will not be able to cope with this anxiety where there are certain adjustment techniques that he or she can use aur wo adjustment techniques hamare paas yahan bahut hi hain blind spots rationalization hai elusiveness hai cynicism hai compartmentalization hai excessive self control hai aur arbitrary rightness now as far as blind spots is concerned arbitrary rightness is concerned elusiveness is concerned and cynicism ye wo techniques hain jo hame karen horney ne di Dear students, we are talking about a very interesting and fascinating concept. That is, when an individual has anxiety, 
and he thinks that this anxiety is very overwhelming. So he uses a number of adjustment techniques. For Karen Honnick adjustment techniques, the Sigmund Freud to ego dance mechanisms, the pooping styles, they refer to the same thing. Now, we have discussed a list of adjustment techniques. We will talk about them one by one. So let us talk about these adjustment techniques one by one. So, the first adjustment technique is blind spots. Let's take an example. You are extremely an intelligent student and you responded to your teacher's question very stupidly. So, this experience hurts your ego. Therefore, you are going to deny it and ignore it because it is not in accordance with your idealized self-image. Now, this experience is a disowned one and it will reappear as a blind spot in your personality. You will not accept it and it will reappear as a problem in your personality. This is similar to Sigmund Freud's repression. Dear students, we are talking about blind spots. Now, blind spots is a adjustment technique. According to Aaron Horne, suppose you are a very intelligent student. You have an idealized image about yourself. Now, a question is asked to you by a teacher and you respond to it stupidly. Or you give a response which is totally incorrect. Now, this is this experience of responding to teacher's question wrongly is not in accordance with your idealized image of an intelligent student. So, you will ignore it, you will suppress it, and you will not do it on your own. What will happen? This experience will keep on reappearing in your personality. As a faulty behavior pattern, as a blind spot, you can accept it. And if you accept it, you responded to a question wrongly. So, if you accept it, it will be assimilated as an experience in your personality. But if you ignore it, you don't focus on it. And it will reappear as a blind spot in your personality. The term blind spot is the same thing. In the retina, there is an area in which there are no laws and no cones. So, when an image of an object falls on this particular area, no image is formed. So, from there, we have this term blind spot, disowning an experience or a part of your personality. So, this is an adjustment technique that an individual represses, ignores or tries to spare certain experiences which are not in accordance with his or her idealized self-image. The core adjustment technique is rationalization. Rationalization. It is giving good reasons or making good excuses to protect your ego. So rationalization by Freud and Horney are the same. Let's take an example. A student works very hard for CSS but fails in it. He says, I don't want to be a civil servant. All civil servants are corrupt. I am an honest person. When you talk about rationalization, we are giving good reasons or making good excuses. But we have to say that an individual has a CSS exam. लेकिन वो सिर्फ हमने नाकाम हो गया तो अब ये उसके लिए एक बहुत बड़ा ब्लो है तो नाउ ही और शी शुड जेनरेट गुड एक्सक्यूज और मेक आप गुड रीजन फॉर दिस फेलियर तो वो ये कह 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 सकता है कि ऑल सिविल सर्वेंट्स आर ट्रैप आई डू मोर टू बी ए सिविल सर्वेंट सो दिस इज टेक नजी को इसी तरह आपने वो कहानी सुनी होगी जिसमें एक लोमड़ी थी और उसने उसको सुबह भूख लगी थी वो एक बाघ में गुजर रही थी और उसने वहाँ पे अंगूर की बेड़ देखी और उसने उन अंगूरों तक पहुँचने के लिए बहुत कोशिश की लेकिन जब वो उन अंगूरों तक नहीं पहुँच सकी तो उसने कहा कि मुझे ये अंगूर नहीं खाने कटे सो द थिंग इज दिस इज रेशनलाइजेशन ट्राइंग टू जेनरेट गुड रीजन to protect your shortcoming, to protect your ego. So, Karen Honey or Sigmund Freud rationalization is the same. There is absolutely no difference. The third important adjustment technique is excessive self-control. Excessive self-control. Excessive self-control is called rigid self-control at all costs. So, guarding yourself against anxiety by controlling any expression of emotion. In TV dramas, a Puritan character is created who maintains tight emotional control under all circumstances. बात आपसे हो रही है ना एक्सेसिव सेल्फ कंट्रोल वेन एन इंडिविजुअल फेसेस स्ट्रेस एंजाइटी ही यूज़ एक्सेसिव सेल्फ कंट्रोल दैट इज़ गार्डिंग योर सेल्फ बाय नॉट एक्सप्रेसिंग एनी इमोशन आप टीवी ड्रामो में ऐसा कैरेक्टर जरूर देखें प्योर कैरेक्टर हु डजेंट लिसन टू डोस डजेंट लिसन टू म्यूजिक डजेंट शो एनी एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इमोशन ऑफ हैप्पीनेस ऑफ सैडनेस और एनी अदर इमोशन सो दैट इज एक्सेसिव सेल्फ कंट्रोल एक और इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट इज कंपार्टमेंटलाइजेशन It means dividing your life into various. It means dividing your life into various compartments. One set of rules controls one compartment. Another set of rules controls another compartment. For example, a teacher does not permit his students to cheat in the class, but the same teacher, while playing a game of cards, cheats with his colleagues. So there is one set of rules which applies to one compartment, and another set of rules which applies to another compartment of his personality. So after that, there is one second adjustment technique, and that is compartmentalization, which is the head dividing your personality into tight compartments. Divide your personality into different sections. Now, one set of rules are controlling one compartment or one section of your personality. Another set of rules is controlling another compartment, another section of your personality. And this year, we have given this teacher a teacher because our students in class have no cheating. And this teacher, when he is in the evening, he sits with colleagues and friends and he plays a friendly game of cards. Well, he is involved in cheating. So, one compartment of being in the classroom, one section of personality being controlled by one set of rules and when he is among friends, that is another section, another compartment of personality which is being controlled by another set of rules. So, compartmentalization refers to dividing your personality into different compartments and each compartment being controlled by a different set of rules. 
उसके बाद और एकदम हमारे पास एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक है दैट इज एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन इज सिमिलर टू सिगमेंट रॉयज प्रोजेक्शन इन प्रोजेक्शन इंडिविजुअल ब्लेम्स अदर्स फॉर हिज ओन शॉर्टकमिंग फॉर एग्जांपल अ स्टूडेंट डिड नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर हिज एग्जाम्स प्रॉपर्ली एंड आफ्टर गेटिंग अ लो ग्रेड वुड से द टीचर वाज अगेंस्ट हिम और द क्वेश्चन पेपर वाज आउट ऑफ द कोर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ सीइंग द फैक्ट दैट प्रिपरेशन वाज इनसफिशिएंट और आर टीम लॉस्ट द मैच बिकॉज़ द एंपायर वाज अगेंस्ट अस व्हाई द फैक्ट इज दैट आवर हॉकी टीम्स पेनल्टी कॉर्नर कन्वर्जन वाज पुअर बात आपसे हो रही है ना एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन की एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन सिगमेंट रॉयड के प्रोजेक्शन वाले ईगो डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म की तरह है जिसमें इंडिविजुअल ब्लेम्स एन अदर पर्सन फॉर हिज और हर ओन शॉर्टकम में बिल्कुल इस तरह कि जिस तरह एक स्टूडेंट जो है जब उसने इम्तिहान की तैयारी बेहतर तरीके से नहीं की और वो इम्तिहान उसका ग्रेड कम आया गैस ग्लो ग्रेड तो ही कैन से द टीचर वाज गेट टीचर वाज स्पाइस और क्वेश्चन पेपर वाज ऑफ सिलेबस जबकि हकीकत ये होगी असल बात ये होगी कि ही डिड नॉट प्रिपेयर सफिशिएंटली फॉर द पेपर दूसरी तरफ हम कहते हैं कि हमारी हॉकी टीम इसलिए मैच हार गई क्योंकि एम्पायरिंग जो थी वो बड़ी बाइस थी वो बड़ी डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी थी जबकि हकीकत ये होगी कि हमारी हॉकी टीम की जो पेनल्टी कॉर्नर का वर्जन है वो बहुत पुअर है कि अगर 10 पेनल्टी कॉर्नर से मिले उसमें से एक पे भी बोलना हुआ तो दैट मींस अ पेनल्टी कॉर्नर कन्वर्जन रिलीडी इज पुअर डियर स्टूडेंट वी आर टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक्स गिवन टू अस बाय कैन हॉन एक और बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक अभी थी राइटनेस टू द पर्सन यूटिलाइजिंग दिस एडजस्टमेंट टेक्निक द वर्स्ट थिंग अ पर्सन कैन बी इज इनडिसेसिव और एम्बिगुअस व्हेन इश्यूज राइज दैट हैव नो क्लियर सलूशन वन वे और द अदर द पर्सन आर्बिट्री चूजेस वन सलूशन देयर बाय एंडिंग द डिबेट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल एन एग्जांपल वुड बी व्हेन अ मदर सेस यू आर नॉट गोइंग आउट ऑन फ्राइडे नाइट एंड दैट्स द एंड ऑफ इट अ पर्सन यूजिंग दिस एडजस्टमेंट will arrive at a position and when doing so all debate ends the position the person takes becomes the truth and therefore cannot be challenged the person no longer needs to worry about what is right and what is wrong and what is certain and what is uncertain baat ye hai na abhi pri rightness is basically when an individual is insist when an individual is ambiguous maslan jab bachcha aake maa se poochta hai can i go out friday night to a dinner with my friends and the mother can mother is indecisive and she just cannot take a decision whether it's good for the child to go with the friends on friday night dinner or not and the child insists on going he wants to go the mother is you are not going to that dinner and that's it that means the debate the chapter is closed no more argument no more debate and the child is not going whether the decision is right or wrong the child has to accept it so abhi right now is when an individual is indecisive doesn't have clear vision related to an issue he takes a decision and ends the debate there and then elusiveness another interesting technique elusiveness this technique is the opposite to abhi rightness the elusive person never makes a decision about anything if one is never committed to anything one can never be wrong and if one is ever wrong one can never be criticized so if a person decides to go to college and fails there is no excuse if however the decision to go to college is delayed because of lack of money or any other reason this technique is called elusiveness where the person never makes a decision about anything baat sabse ho rahi hai na aur bahut interesting technique hai karan honey ki wo hai elusiveness now this technique is opposite of arbitrary rightness arbitrary rightness mein to indecisiveness ki ek state hai one is not able to decide clearly lekin decision individual leta hai chahe wo sahi ho chahe wo galat hai decision hai lekin elusiveness mein ye hai ki the individual never makes a decision and when you never make a decision there is no risk in what whether this decision will be right or wrong kyunki agar aapne sahi aisa kiya to aapki tareef hogi aur agar aapne galat aisa kiya to aap aapko criticize kiya jayega so when you do not make any decision jab aap koi faisla hi nahi kar to jinaab baat ye hai ki aap to wo yakeen nahi hai an individual who decide to go to college तो जनाब बात आपसे हो रही है लूसनेस की कि लूसिव इंडिविजुअल वो है जो कभी जिंदगी में कोई फैसला नहीं करेगा और क्योंकि फैसला नहीं करेगा इसलिए उसके ऊपर कोई तनकीद नहीं करेगा सो लूसिव इज वन इंडिविजुअल हुआ कोई मेक एनी डिसीजन राइट और रॉन्ग वो सही फैसला गलत है ऐसे एक और भी एक और बहुत अहम एडजस्टमेंट थी दैट इज सेक्स सेक्स आर इंडिविजुअल्स हु डोंट बिलीव इन वैल्यू ऑफ एनीथिंग ट्राई टू मेक एवरी इंडिविजुअल रियलाइज द मीनिंगलेसनेस ऑफ द गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स कैरन हनी बिलीव दैट सेक्स आर इंडिविजुअल हु डिराइव प्लेजर बाय मेकिंग एन इंडिविजुअल रियलाइज दैट ही इज वर्थलेस एंड हिज गोल्स एंड एम्स इन लाइफ आर मीनिंगलेस बात आपसे हो रही है ना सेक्स की so sex are individuals who make realize the meaninglessness or the, uh, the meaninglessness of things aur ye woh individuals hain who who find it very pleasurable to make to realize ke jo to world ho to koi badi baat nahi degree hasil kar liye to bhi koi badi baat nahi aage zindagi mein badhenge so they are the ones who derive pleasure by making you realize the meaninglessness and the worthlessness of your goals and objectives in life of course when you educate yourself of course when you gain something you are bettering your personality you are improving yourself but it is sex to make you realize the worthlessness of things or what they feel pleasure when they make other people miserable or when they make other people depressed so then it's all those individuals we dear students we talked about adjustment techniques humne aapse baat ki jinab adjustment techniques ki let us see what is the goal of therapy in a book called self analysis karen honey says that many people do not have emotional problems because they learn to minimize conflict 
and try to maintain a relationship between real self and ideal self. So the goal of psychotherapy is to create a realistic relationship between real self and ideal self. बात आज से हुई ना गोल ऑफ साइकोथेरेपी की और उसमें हमने कहा कि कैर हॉर्निंग का ये फोकस है पर ये है गोल ऑफ साइकोथेरेपी एट द रियल सेल्फ एंड आइडियल सेल्फ दे शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन रियलिटी दे शुड बी रिचेबल एंड दे शुड बी चेंजेबल और ये जितने एक दूसरे के करीब होंगे रियल और आइडियल सेल्फ उतना ही बेहतर होगा यहाँ जब हम कैर हॉर्निंग की थेरी को वेलुएट करते हैं तो कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट थीम्स हमारे सामने आती है नंबर वन और कैर एंड हॉर्निंग चाइल्ड रिलेशनशिप टू हिस्स पेरेंट्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट डिटर्मिन वेदर और नॉट द चाइल्ड वुड डिवेलप द बेसिक एंगजाइटी नंबर टू फॉर कैर एंड बेसिक एंगजाइटी लीड टू डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ न्यूरोस एंड कॉज इज बेसिक फर्सिलिटी विच इज अनकॉन्शियस कैर एंड हॉर्निंग री एम्फोसाइज बाई लॉजिकल मोटिव एंड फोकस ऑन नीड फॉर ए फीलिंग ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इन द चाइल्ड इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कैर एंड हॉर्निंग टोटली रिजेक्टेड कॉन्सेप्ट अनाटमी इज डेस्टिनी एंड मेल्स आर सुपीरियर फॉर हर मेल्स आर इक्वल टू फीमेल्स For while for care hauling, all of us have capacity to change in fundamental ways throughout our lives. Dear students, we have been talking to you about care and hauling. हमने आपसे बात शुरू की थी care and hauling के बारे में जिसमें हमने basic anxiety, neurotic personality और focus है. हमने आपसे बात की adjustment techniques की आज ना और ये adjustment techniques से हमने similarity के लिए सिग्नल पॉइंट की equal defense mechanism के साथ फिर हमने देखा goal side therapy क्या है फिर हमने care and hauling के लिए आपके लिए बुलवाई थी. जैसे हमने ये देखा care and hauling का first basic anxiety, उसके बाद neurotic personality के ऊपर है neurotic needs उसे focus किया उस लोगों को. Three categories of classes of group classes are based on these ten categories. And she has tried to develop a relationship between real self and ideal self. She is talking about goal of psychotherapy. Dear students, this theory is one where the focus is on basic anxiety or anxiety of people. That your safety or satisfaction ki need is not gratified, not fulfilled. Dear students, I hope you have enjoyed listening to this lecture of uh, personality psychology, giving you Karen Hoyne's theory of personality development as much as I have enjoyed talking to you. Please go through the PowerPoint slides and the Word document as well on the web page of personality psychology. If you have any problem, do write to us. Keep in touch. Tell us about yourself. Hope to see you in the next lecture. Until then, good afternoon.